for a crab fashion show. Models. This one is wearing the latest in purple seaweed. Over here, a striking piece of kelp. And for this guy, that's a lot of look. But these crabs aren't dressing up to get noticed. They're trying to blend in. These decorator crabs live in the tide pools and rocky shores off the California coast. It's a dangerous place for a tasty crab. So the crabs camouflage with what's at hand. This kelp crab has found something to work with. It does a little trimming, cutting a piece to size, nudges it into place, and it sticks thanks to rows of natural Velcro on its head. The crabs have these special hooked hairs on their shell. See how this bit of seaweed is wedged right in there, held tight? With a tug, the crab makes sure of that. The seaweed is hiding its antennae. If they weren't covered, their fluttering would give the crab away. And sometimes, one piece of flair just isn't enough. Meet the extreme decorator crab, the ultimate fashionista. It's covered in hooks all over its body. A quick check and the crab can tell its face is unprotected. Get to work. This crab is a picky dresser. It nibbles on a piece of algae, trying to figure out, is this good to eat? Or is it covered in noxious chemicals that make it better suited as an outfit? This crab has made it work. And it has the ultimate off-putting accessory, an anemone, outerwear that actually stings. Over time, the anemones and seaweed can grow and spread on the crab shell. It's a lot to lug around, but it's worth it. Being fabulous just might save your life. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Check out a few other critters that love unconventional materials. The caddisfly builds its house out of pebbles using waterproof tape. And see how squid change their own skin to mimic the open ocean. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. See you next time.